Guys, I was blown away when I saw the scope and scale of this. It was yeah. amazing. And I love the diversity of the show. I think every single time I started it, a new person walked in and I had to start it over. So I got through it, but it's amazing. Now, talk to me about each character you guys play. <laughs> you go first. I'm going first. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thierry, he, let's say, describe him as he, he's an underdog. He's an outcast in Dagonaut, where he comes from. And um, I guess he goes on this journey to discover something new about himself. I think that's a good way to describe mm. him. I think uh, Viridian wants to uh, save the world uh, in his own way, and, and he believes that the ends justify the means. So he. Um, we want to make it a better place, but he uh, knows what he has to sacrifice and what everyone has to sacrifice, and not everyone agrees with him. So that's why he's, uh, he's carrying the burden of uh, being the actual hero of this story. Yeah. If I might say so. I like that. <laughs> now you got me on Team Reading a little bit. I like, yeah. I like that answer. Great, thanks. <laughs> um, Lavinia is, she's a feisty young woman um, from this horrible little town called Mr. Nort. And at the beginning of the show, she's kind of, she doesn't mind exploiting people to get ahead. Um, she doesn't really care what anyone thinks of her. But then she meets young Chiori. And, I'll um, change her, basically. I'm the reason. <laughs> he teaches her how to be good and nice yeah. and warm. Because I'm a good person. Yeah. You are a good person. Well, his character is a good person. Yeah. <laughs> You're a different yeah. story. <laughs> uh, Iona is the most, arguably the most skilled uh, novice. Um, she. Do you want to fight? No, 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 no. I'll fight you. Um, <laughs> she's incredibly skilled, and she's had to grow up very quickly. Uh, and she comes from a less privileged background to the other novices, so she's got really nothing to fall back on. This has to work, mm -hmm. and that's why she she's so quick to find the the thing that's going to move her forward. And it's gonna drive them. And I think she is a driving force for the novices. I think yeah. they would never ever get to anywhere without her. Um, she keeps them on track. Now, usually in fantasies, um, women are relegated to playing the damsels or mm. the evil queen. But I love this show because it actually gives you guys a lot of depth with your characters. Mm. Can you talk to me about um, the powerness, the powerfulness that comes comes with that? I think it it felt like a oh, how do I word this? It felt really unique because it's not always that way, and it yeah. should be. Right. Yeah. And so it was kind of like, why do I feel so um, surprised that she's not a damsel in distress? Because we shouldn't feel surprised like that. Yeah. Like that shouldn't be the case, just yeah. across the board. So um, Will was amazing and given us such strong female you know, characters, and it's not just yeah. they're not. That's not just what defines them. They are just strong people. Right. 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 Yeah. It's not that they are a girl or a female. It's they're, they're strong people, they're, they're and people, yeah. it doesn't really matter in our world. No, it's, I don't think it's ever mentioned that. Oh, yeah. she's it's never made. Just, it's never like yeah. defined in the story sure. in the series that yeah. oh, Iona is actually a girl. Yeah. It's kind of like they are just people when they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. but it's so powerful how... to. I wish that when I was little, I had someone like Iona or Lavinia yeah. Yeah. or Daria or Queen Alina to to watch and look up to and, and uh, aspire to be. So I think it's really important that that is being represented. Yeah. Now, all the female characters in the show are so, so strong. Stronger, mm, sure. stronger than the men, yeah. Now, um, your character is definitely the audience kind of po point of view perspective. Can you talk to me, though, about how his parents kind of shape your character? His parents? Um, to his parents, I mean, it's, it's hard because his parents have always, he's always wanted to discover more about his roots and where he's originally from, right. Evie Ellen. And his parents have kind of sheltered him from that and, you know, wanted him just to forget about it and kind of come to terms with the fact that He's not going back there, and there's nothing there for him. And I think for Thierry, he doesn't, he doesn't agree with that. He wants to know more about himself. And I think that's that's a, a motivation, and that's his motivation to a lot of the story. To, you know, discover more about himself, and you know, in the monastery, when he meets the abbot, that's a a big a big turning point for him, where he really discovers and you know meets meets his true self.